In this section, you will see a set of words or letters or numbers given as an input to a system. And there is a sequence of steps which will go on. After the last step, there is some output. In this, we need to identify what kind of methodology it is using to get the output. And now in the question, you will give in a different set of words and they may ask you what is the output in step 3 or maybe the output in step 4 and so on. So let's see how it goes on. Sequential output tracing. Generally, the output of the rearrangement falls in three categories. One, words in forward or reverse alphabetical order. The second is numbers in ascending or descending order. Third, positional change in some order. Let's take a question to understand this. The first possibility is number sequence. Now, whenever you see a data something like this, where you are given some input, and there are a sequence of steps like step 1, step 2, step 3, 4 and 5. Now after this processing, the randomized data is actually converted into an output. Now observe the output. What do you see? Yes, this is in decreasing order. It starts with the highest number and ends with the lowest number. Now in order to reach to this point, there has been a shuffling in the each step. Now we need to identify what is a shuffling. Now look at this step 1. In the input, 97 is somewhere at the end, which is the highest number. So what we have done is in step 1, we have taken that number to the first and the rest of the numbers have been pushed forward. After that, the next big number is 85, which is already in the second position. Then we have 63. So this 63 is brought forward and the rest have been pushed back. Then after that we have 36, then 19, then 16 and so on. That's how there has been shift in the numbers so as to get to a point where the numbers get into a descending order. Now based on this generally there are some questions. Here is the first question. We are given a certain input. Now before we get into the question, let's try to put the steps and see what, what happens to the sequence of the numbers. So the step 1, we already know we need to pull the, the highest number to the first. Now if you carefully observe, 32 is highest. So put that number first, then write down the rest of the numbers. So this is 09, 17 and 06. Now what happens in step 2, the next highest number that is 30 has to be brought forward. So this becomes 32, then we pull the 30 forward, then push the rest backward 09, 25, 16, 18, 17 and 06. The next the big number is 25. Then we have 18, then we have 17, then we have 16. After step 6, you see that all the numbers are in a decreasing order. So that is the final step. Most of the times you will see the questions where they may ask you to find out what is the output in step 3 or maybe in step 5 or maybe sometimes they will give you the output and they will ask you to predict the step wherein we will go with the reverse engineering. But if you are clear with the approach of solving, you can solve any question. Let us do one more question. Here we have an input with uh, words as well as numbers. Look at this. By now 25, 72, site 37, 15, home. Now look at the output, the step 6. So here we see the words are in the alternating position and the numbers are also in the alternating position. If you look at the numbers, the lowest number is at the first and the highest is at the last. And coming to the words, 
if you think of alphabetical order s is greater then we have now with n then we have h then b so this is in decreasing order of the alphabets okay so we are able to understand what kind of pattern we need now let's see one question so here they have given an input the input is ask for me 49 32 64 and in 24 now let me write down the steps for this you can also try for yourself in step one we need to take a word which has highest alphabetical order so we will be taking me so me will be the first then you push the rest of the terms after me now after this we need to pick up a number that is the least and the least number is 24 then we pick up a word which is in decreasing order to me therefore that will be 4 after that we have number greater than 24 therefore that is 32 after that we have to pick up a word less than 4 therefore we have two options either ask or and so both has a and go for the next alphabet it should be s or n the greater one will go therefore it will be s so this will remain same after that we need to go for a number greater than 32 therefore it will be 49 so again this is also in its final position and after that we need to have a word therefore this particular word we're going to pick up therefore phi is the final step where we have alternating words in decreasing order and alternating numbers in increasing order this is an easy topic practice well all the best